Hello! Haven't made a video, personal video, what, video in a while like this. Um, but I just, I was about to go to the laundromat, but I don't know like it's about the rain. And I don't really feel like doing laundry in the rain. It just feels kind of, uh, just feels kind of, don't feel right. I'm waiting for the, hopefully the, the rain to pass through. Hopefully it can stay off, but probably either, t either today or Wednesday I'll be able to do the laundry. Uh, why I'm, I'm, I'm on here? Well, I've been, usually I don't do celebrity commentaries. You know, usually I do different commentaries on my, on my, my channel. But I had, I, I wanted to talk about this latest one with, uh, it's been going to social media. You know the guy from, uh, um, Black Panther? He, he's skull star in Black Panther. Michael B. Jordan, he played in Rocky. I think it's a Rocky Five. Then he, he's been in the Marvel comics. And, th and these, th those you don't know, um, I'm going to show you what he looked like right quick if I can get this screen. Uh, get this screen down. And a lot of people... Um, There's a couple of commentary YouTube video video, but everybody giving their input on what happened between Steve Harvey's daughter and Michael B. Jordan. And this is the latest thing. And uh, I'll show you right quick. Uh, and I've seen a couple videos on this. And I'm gonna tell you what really, what's really going on. And this is my commentary. Uh, you, you got one, two, you got two or three men talking about this. On uh, one, one guy's called uh, his channel. It's called Black Ram. He's an excellent commentary. And the other one, yeah, this guy up here. I don't know if you can see that. This guy. Right here, the commentary with this woman, and it's like it's been a trend. You know, first you you see Will and Jada, J Jada, Jada Smith. Here's J. You know Jada Smith. This is on another. That's J Jada Smith, and and you see, the, you know, I don't understand some of these women and particularly you got some particular group of women and, it's, and this can apply to other nationalities of women too but there are some black women that complain on social media that they tired of meeting dusty dudes they tired of meeting men that that you know they don't take care of the kids they ain't got no job they ain't got, they broke, they ain't got nothing going for themselves. They lame, they dusty, they boring. Okay. We already established that. So there are some men out there, there are some black men out there are lame, dusty, and don't take care of the children. Not Some of them not working. There are some are on their mom, baby mama's house, in their mother's house. And yeah, there are some men like that. But, but, but you also got some men out there, some men who they cater to, who run the streets, five baby, different baby mamas, and they love them to call them the N-word. Meanwhile, they love being with this N-word. They love being with the N-word, the, what they call Nick. I don't say short term Nick. They like being with this Nick. But they'll pass up the good black men like because they can't handle a dude who got his life together. They're not satisfied with the dude. And a couple of these dudes were making valid points. And even this one guy, I, I like his commentary too. Uh, his name is Raul. And he's an older gentleman. Uh, where his channel at? And so, so they, they complain about this. 
his 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 will and Jada does vi does Vivica. And I'm here here with Will is a well accomplished actor, musician, probably who knows maybe have his own business. He's he's up there with one of the distinguished actors, you know, before all this fallout happened between him and Chris Rock. You have Michael B. Jordan that did a phenomenal job in the Marvel comics, Black Panther, then he played Fantastic Four. He been he, he started out just elevating in, in the movies, getting movie after movie role, been making astonishing performance, even got an, even got a war for second best. And he's you know, he's up there probably in the who knows in a million dollar bracket. Twenty probably over ten ten million twenty million because I mean when you that good and what what does these guys have in common? They they, they got this so well together. They well established in their career. Michael B. Jordan. I don't know if he having children or not, but well got children. But I don't understand some of these women who complain that they when they get with the men like this, that all of a sudden it's, it's not to, it's not much of a thrill. It's not much of exciting. But yet, the same men, when Michael B. Jordan or Will Smith is hooked up on some Latino-looking woman, some women overseas, white women, whether they white, black, or whatever, the foreign women here, black women here in the states would start getting jealous on black, you know, on black Twitter and everything. But when 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 you have a black man who have hit that level, they too lame and they too square. But yet. They'll they'll go after some dude who's in a probably is a, a rap artist but who who got five six felonies. He got like a, a he got like a record, you know. He been arrested about five six times. You got getting you got to get into a conflict, and this is not just them, but you got even dudes out here in the street like like this. So they'll get in conflict, getting all this conflict. Who want to live that life? And if they don't have that type of life, you got some black women that like this, that they will complain. You know, they they talking about they looking for a baller, they looking for a millionaire. So when 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 they show a black man who is successful making five six figures, it ain't good enough, it ain't square enough. Oh, he don't do this, and he's he's too kind of, he don't buy me, he don't buy me the fancy things, just to make it make it look good. But she won't be technically as a wife potential a girlfriend to potentially one day to being a wife. And they bitching and they complain. When they see so many celebrity actors and athletes go on, go out and go get them a, a, a woman who have some have some sense enough to know that this is a good man, you know, and someone listen to their mom or grandma or dad say, You better sell down this this dude got his head going somewhere. You, 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 this is the choice. But them type of young, when they're young and they, they feel themselves because they got a little decent body. There's a lot of women on, on YouTube that got some decent body, but they got a mouth like a sailor. I mean, I mean, let, let's keep it honest. I mean, uh, and I mean, they loud. I mean, it's just that they rack. I mean, they just as worse than some dudes with the mouth. I mean, they they straight up hood. <laughs> They straight up, they still crazy in the hood, and crazy mess with crazy. Oh, here he is. But I'm, I'm gonna show him as an example. Um, but yeah, but these women, they just don't appreciate good men who have, who who are, who are black men already have it there. But they'd rather have a dude that not really have don't have his own place. In time with and they stay with his mama and and they takes his, his sex organ is is the whole whole the relationship. Because what he does in the bedroom. Just in the bedroom. Just because he and and, and he you know, he kinda he kind of got a little silly to him. If you got good sex or give her good sex and make her laugh a little bit. That's relationship. But hold on one minute.
myself type of person. Not coming from the person that forced me to be in that situation. No, I am no longer available for masculine energy. You understand? I'm tapping into all my feminine energy. No, I can't open this bottle of pickles. No, I cannot put gas in my car. No, I cannot kill that spider in the corner. I need a man. I need a man for all of that. Okay? I need a God-fearing man. You understand? I need a man I can submit to. I need a man I can be vulnerable with. I need a man who I can shoulder I can turn on. Okay? I need a man with good communication. I need all of that. I need a man. F that. I, yes, I can do it all by myself, but no, I cannot. I need a man. Thank you. Well, now, sounds great, doesn't it? Let's listen to her again. And let's see how many things she lists in this video that actually benefit the man versus benefiting her. Now, let's remember. The first thing she said was she needed a man to fix her tail light. So that's the first one that only benefits her. Here we go. I am no longer available for masculine energy. You understand? I'm tapping into all my feminine energy. No, I can't open this bottle of pickles. No, I cannot put gas in my car. No, I cannot kill that spider in the corner. I need a man. I need a man for all of that. Okay? I need a God-fearing man. You understand? I need a man I can submit to. I, I need a man I can be vulnerable with. I need a man who I can shoulder I can cry on. Okay? I need a man with good communication. I need all of that. I need a man. F that. I, yes, I can do it all by myself, but no, I cannot. I need a man. Thank you. Now, on one hand, my hat's off to her for admitting that she needs a man. But on the other hand, most of the things she mentioned only benefits her, not the man. So here's my question. Does she really need a man? Or does she want a man to do the things that she doesn't want to do? So ladies, what value are you going to bring to this man's life that he should do all those things for you and take sex out of the equation? Because every woman born female with female parts has the same thing you have. So he can get that from any woman. Fellas, let this short video be a lesson to you. If you meet a woman and she says she needs a man, ask her to be specific. And if she lists a bunch of things that only benefit her, but don't benefit you, buyer beware. Hey, somebody did tell me, and I love you, so it might as well be me. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification. There it is. There it is. He's right. But, you know, it's just crazy. And this is what men really want. You know, men, you know, what can you, is, is it is a two-way street? And, and he's definitely right. And some women, and I think that's the, the problem with why some women are single here in this country. They don't, they don't uh, understand it's me, 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 me. But it's, it's supposed to be a give and take, you know, give and give. If you got two people giving and sacrificing, that's the only way you're going to find a good, a good, if your man looking for a good woman. And that she understands the whole concept. But you got some of these younger women out here that don't think like that. And you got some, probably some middle aged women don't think like that because they either they got too much and they say too much mouth. And it, it, it seems like the only way. To get them under control is the Most High God. To let them show them their ways and say, why do I, I don't have a boyfriend? Why do I have a potential fiance to be a husband? Sometimes, it literally takes, if they get in the church and they get with the right pastor, they give them to the Spirit and introduce them to God in the Bible and, and ask God that same question. Why can't I, why can I get the man that I want? And when they get when they receive the Holy Spirit, which is the Spirit of Truth, maybe I said that's where you have your answer, not just because what a man said, what a woman said, but what God Himself said. And He will prepare you on how to be a woman and be submissive. Sometimes maybe you have to come from the Father Himself, because when it comes to this world, when it comes to this this alpha female, I ain't gonna do this. I don't need a man. And like the woman was saying. It, it's going to take a little bit more to give up herself. And it's only going to have, and the only way to do with the, these westernized women in America is going to be God. I mean, if, they, if it's not already inside of some women, that from learn from watching women who took pleasure in being that sacrifice and the, the husbands that they still married to, they know it's a give and take. 
And the first thing, ask somebody who's been married for 20, 30 years, who are happily married, but how, what makes their relationship go? Because that's the whole point. You don't want it. And I, I like what this one guy, Newbury, New was saying uh, to the fellas. Like, we need to stop jumping in jumping in and out, out of different bedrooms because you got some women that are harlots. And um, he, he's absolutely right because, you know, you got some women out here, they look good, they're very pretty, and it, there's some very, well, I've seen some women online that are very attractive, but, you know, they're scandalous. They use their body just like they do it on social media to get what they want. And they don't really have a two, two twits of a darn about about doing what they're doing. And they lift their ego and, and their head pup, pupped up to the point that they so ego. And these are women who, yeah, you're attractive and yeah, you get some eye, eye attention, but you but there's some women that think that that's all it would take, that they don't have to give something back because of their beauty. They don't have to give a part of them. So they just think that, you just like, I believe that was, was the case with Laura Har Harvey here. When it came now here she has a successful man. She's twenty five, they say he's thirty five. But he's always he's always at a position in life that he he has everything. And and what woman in any part of the world will love to get with the man uh, get, get with the man I'm sorry. Love to get with the man that has it all together. And it, I mean there's some women that in other countries there's some women that are players don't get me wrong and there's some prostitutes because I've heard that argument too yes that's true but at the same time there are some women in some countries that were raised to be a wife that they, they learn from their mamas their grandmas and their mamas and their aunts how to be a, and that's why they're happily married and, and they probably ask their mother how do you maintain to keep a husband and that's why when they get a certain age in some cultures and custom they look forward to being married and really that's what they want they want one guy that's committed down there in different parts probably certain places in Colombia and different places this is the reason why they go and they, they, find, they want to find a marriage minded man but sometimes you get some men from America that, not some men from America, not all, not are not marriage minded. There are some, but the ones that do, they they ready to, they, they had a point in life that they got it together, and they got them men just because they think that they got it going on because of the income, and they have they pretty in good shape. They 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 get an ego just as women women do, so it do a disadvantage down there. And one thing I agree with, with the one content creator, I think he named himself Ringo, said that really, if you're going down there, you should be finding a wife. I mean, because even if it's another country, you got to be careful. And that's a fact. And number two is that luckily she picked you as an American because I think even though there's a certain percentage of women that would marry and date outside the bush, this, you also have to learn the language barrier, and I fig I figured this out, man. It's like if I if you if I did go with someone in Latin America, in most Latin American countries, the communication is, is a bit barrier because even though she you, she's trying to learn your language, is learning English, you have to learn her language because what I know is about different groups of people from around around the world, they feel comf majority of the time. They feel comfortable talking in their own language. I went to, I've been at an African church. I've been at a Latin, a, a, a Spanish-speaking church, even though they speak English. But most of the time, what I've learned from here, and even the ones that come here and they go to a Spanish, where it's you know, it's people that come from different parts of Latin America, uh, whether they're from Central America, whether they're from Panama, whether they're from Guatemala, whether they're from Costa Rica, whether they're from all you know, Ecuador, all the Nicaragua, Guatemala, all Honduras, you name it, Mexico, all of these Spanish people. One thing I learned from being around these people, these people, 
Nine chances out of ten, they really want someone to really have a communication in their own language. Even though that some of them do come here and they speak English, but when they really do, even though that they they they, they, they it's benefits in a financial and educational way, but when it comes to having a family, I, I think most of the time they rather get somebody who really understand and able to communicate. Because, like most people, when they come to this country, and when they cut to communicate, they communicate with you. But it seems like they it, they wonder, and I do know is, is is they making the correct sentences when they translating from their native tongue into English. So they that's one factor. Number two, fa number two factor. So it's good, and it must be balanced to to learn the language. So as as a black, as any American man, or if you a European man or any other man, is to learn that able to speak to them in their language, and you have a great. And I and I've heard brothers that have tra black men have traveled down to Brazil and Central South America, and the ones that's flown, the ones who are very good with their Spanish and very good with their Portuguese. They're able to communicate because I think communication is one of the things that, yet yeah, some of the women down there can speak English, but I think it, being around people, even going to a, a Latino church here, yeah, they were they were they were all right. Some people are all right, but the majority of people I, I know is they feel comfortable being around and speaking to someone that people that look like them. And that's just a, and that's just a fact. And it's good that you're able to communicate. Communication is a big number one factor. But even if, if you're a brother and you find a black woman and you go down there to Latin America, you still gonna have whether she's mixing black because she's African, Latino, Afro Latino or whatever, or she's mixed with Afro Latino. You still should kind of like kind of reach out and communicate with her. I mean, she can probably speak some English, but it's good to speak some Spanish. And so that way you're able to really comprehend. And I commend the brothers that, that they're able to speak that language. Like, wow, they, they sound like they're native. And I think they feel more comfortable with it. And I think they'll succeed and get that better half of that, that woman who is in her culture, she's taught to be, to be that wife. Cause they don't want to. They ain't trying to talk about you got to have six figures and and then they just want a man. I, I, I mean, you look at men from from South America, whether they from Guatemala, Mexico, or Cuba, anything. They come out just start out being average, doing majority of doing construction jobs. But their woman is always by, by them. And this is what I noticed when I was in a Latino church. Every Latino man had. Either had a girlfriend, about to be a fiance, about to be a wife. Even the ones that don't even go to church, majority of them have a wife, a, a, a girlfriend. If they if they're a good dude, like any other dude, they're a good dude. They go they gonna find find somebody. Then it it kind of and really they have a nationality pride about themselves too because you know they look something that that gravitate to to be with them too, and and some. And let, like I said, unless you speak their language, but most of this, most you and you can anybody can verify this. Most people stick to their culture. That's true. Majority, even like Latinos, they majority of them stick to their culture. And, you know, and they're hardworking people, but you gotta learn learn that language. You gotta learn the ways of that culture. And if you got, and if you find a Latino woman, you able to. Hey man, you know, hope you be that husband, man. And you know, as a black American brother, if you do find one, hey, you treat her, treat her well, because you know, you know, and she don't care how much money you make, and she don't care what your status. You ain't gotta be a bad boy. You ain't gotta be a excuse my expression, a nigga like they do here, man. If you're a black man, you you hear this video, you blessed, bro. You blessed. You find a black woman or like or a black a Latin or Latina that. That's a blessing, and don't worry about the American black women here. That are, because 
some, don't worry about the ones that they crit critique you about your your exotic beautiful woman so what if they would if they would learn how to be a woman instead like she's like she's saying having all this masculine energy and bitter bitterness and like how some of these women have online towards these men these black men that's traveling now there's some black men that are traveling maybe they are going down there for pros prostitution I don't know they, they should be doing that but hey you know what, whatever grown man do is his, his, his own business what he do in his bedroom and what they do behind closed their door business but for, but not all black men are going down there or something like that they just I said really deep down they really do I do believe some black men want to stick with black women but the black women that they come across in America got this high entitlement mentality like you know oh you know oh you're not a college graduate so so a black man does be a college graduate oh well you're not a five six feet so they, so they do so now what so when you meet, meet, meet the black man here now what well he, he kind of lame and he kind of boring he just don't really he don't really spark my spark I mean it's like what choke you by the neck what the what what, what the hell are you talking about argue with you get called the cops and y'all get into a heated argument he going to jail getting a record probably losing his career oh he a real he, he's a real nigga then and it's like that's what it's like that's what they I'm sorry to say is the truth and, and some black men don't want to go there so maybe that's why the lames and some even some guys can call simply because you you got to handle this woman this way. Now, I ain't got to go through all that why do I have to go through all that just when the the principal blueprint is that's not how it is to just to have a, a girlfriend one day be your wife you got to put her in place once in a while you got to check her you know I mean you don't have to I mean you don't have to you got to check her you know I mean, look here woman I say it you know what I mean no I ain't got to go through all that with you I mean why would I have to so you think that's me being a man, less than a man. So that's what some men, some men really do. Black men really do want to settle down, but they never found somebody because maybe they ain't the right look. They ain't the right personality, and maybe like they, they like they someone like think they too square because they like Will, saying that he's too square. Forget that he, he, his his musical talent got got in there. He's too square. Forget that he that he he's an accomplished actor. He's too square. Forget that that he took care, took care of his kids. You, you know he was married a second time. He ain't got babies all over the doggone place. Forget about oh, forget about that. Forget about that 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 he that his mom his mom and dad didn't ready to be responsible just like Michael Michael P. Jordan's parents and shit. Forget about that. No 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 no. That's not what what some of the women want. They want something like is a is a dysfunctional problem. Because they say, wow, he really keeping it real. Again, the same type of women be sitting up there complaining that they they can't get a man like that. It be the same type of women that they grab it and they get and they get tired. Cause that same man that, that they had that they was cool and he was he was tall and he, he, he had he had the slick tongue and everything and he he, he know how to do something with his organ. They get they get that connected with what the relationship is. He's like some of us men, we, we, we get good sex in the bedroom. We, some of us get thinking, well, how come we didn't have a proper relationship with this and have a steady relationship with this? Because that's how some people base their relationship on. They're not based, I mean, let's be realistic. That's why some people, whether they're men or women, are always online talking crazy. What? Why? Because they they're not they're not satisfied. They're not happy, and nothing will ever make them happy. Because if you don't be a problem, then it's nothing for them to talk about. And some women don't understand when you disrespect your boyfriend, your husband. You, and especially if he's your husband, you're really hurting yourself. Just like like what what says with Jada. Why would you hurt your be better half and salt him like a as a man? Why would you, you humiliate him as a man? And this is what some men were pointing out. Like, how can you do? How can you do something and then then spread your business all over and humiliate him even more? 
as a man, his manhood and everything. This is the reason why. And, and some women in some cultures know not to do that. There are some women in the cultures, they know not to, to disrespect a man like, like that. Because cause even someone, their mama and, and their papa or someone say, you were wrong for that. He's a good man. I mean, let's see, if he's taking care of the kids, he's not abusing you, he's pr providing for you, what more do you want? Then you have an accomplished, he, that's, he's an accomplished actor. Like I said, the case with, you know, she, from what I heard, said she stayed the guy, he was a, a, a rapper named Future, got five, six kids. But see, w w but see, if, if that bad boy in Future, well, he, he don't really want her or he, someone else don't want her. And after he, you know, they date for a while and, they, you know, whatever they do in the bedroom, whatever, then it's over. There's like she trying to invest in the relationship with the guy who got five, don't take the time out that he's been in five different relationships because maybe he didn't produce about five, six, or seven different children. And you got the same, you have the same knuckleheaded woman that sit around there, never been pregnant. And get pregnant with the dude that got six, and then this, and saying that these men ain't crap. Said so that all these black men ain't crap. But the same black woman that sit back and do that is the same one that chase around with the dudes that ain't crap. They, they, that's the truth. The same ones be complaining about that. Be the same ones. They, you know, they be like, that's not what I want. But they up. That's what they're attracted to. They they want they want somebody to excuse my expression we like because sometimes we like to use that word the nick the nigga they 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 track they don't want the black man they want the one to give them a bunch of problems a bunch of attitude argument stuff like that fighting it and acting crazy that that's that struggle hateful love got to call the cops on on them ten five ten times it's a it's a fact but yet they but but when the good dudes who got something going on, the good black men, who got their head together, who don't conduct they stuff, they, well, they lame, they square, they boring. But yet, they out there making business deals and stuff, whatever. Or whether it could be the dude could own his own landscaping company or construction company. You don't give him, you don't give him no love because he don't meet in your high value bracket. But let me tell you this, maybe the dude that, that's making, who's out there cutting grass and got his own Corporation got his own hustle, can have his own barber shop. He's 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 making his ends meet. You 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 will pass a dude like that, but you go out with some struggle dude in the, some hood hood dude in the street, and I said and you and you mad because he, that hood dude give you some good D, some good sex in the bed, and it and you try to form your relationship ship around it. Now you say now you get mad and say and, and get this whole rock hooray with a certain demographic of women saying these these men ain't shit these niggas ain't, ain't crap. No, you're not you're not crap because when you had this there's a certain type of woman when you had a good good man you didn't even, didn't want it and that's why they're leaving. That's why in some cases why a lot of black men are get getting fed up and get tired of this mess and saying look. What, what's the point when I can stretch my options? And I'm just telling from the black ma male's point of view. Yeah, there's some black men that 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 you know are immature in some ways, as far as their weight, and, and they're not in, they're not accomplishing areas. But you deal, but that's okay because they like years ago what what um the brothers went down to Brazil and the one guy was interviewing. They were they, they were the guy was sagging his pants, sagging down off the top of his butt, and trying to throw some kind of slang game. And say, like, boy, he keep it real. He he, he dug. He, he real though. He's very amusing, and entertaining though. He really is. Even though he been yeah, so he so he he he's so little dope and been shot at about three or four times. But he he's a real good. He's a real oh, he's a model model sense of a man. Get, get your house shot up, but you know, get jumped out there in the streets or. Uh, but yeah, he's 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 really yeah. That's that's what. But he, he keeps the excitement going. He just keeps the adrenaline going. But and that's the one. Yeah. He, so he been locked up three or four times. The cops had to pull him. Oh yeah, we got now what? We got to see you again. And then you know he gets to cussing and fussing and 
and profaning and everything, but that's all right because hey, isn't that what you 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 given? Some of these women given to that's that that's what it is. They they want some, maybe I can change change that another. Oh, he'll he'll eventually die out with them. So what he he drinks it and, and y'all get to argue at night and uh, and have the neighbors like oh here they go again. But but that's that struggle. That's that struggle love. Oh, just like what my, what my sister went through. Up, up to some dudes, some people cross street. Dude got mad at his ex girlfriend. No, no, they got. They, they, this is in Cleveland. The knucklehead shoots bullets all in here. But that's don't worry. That struggle love because that's all right. Six months later, she they'll probably make up, and, and it'll be another incident. They'll be fighting. Next thing you know, they'll be shooting in here. We gotta go. Here, they, here they go again. Act, act clowning, cussing, and acting up, and somebody get mad enough because someone. Getting it into one of their brothers or relatives or friends, then they have a shootout. But that's all right, cause that's that struggle love, right? Because we gotta keep it gangster, cause that's keeping it black in them. And with some black people, that's their mentality here in America. But when you're a black person that don't conduct yourself that way, and you ain't and you ain't you know hot, you know trying to chase behind a man that he think he he's a Romeo. He got five six kids somewhere. He's trying to sleep with every dog going woman in the block and trying to holler at every woman because he just he just is so amazing he's just amusing but you chase behind him but next thing you know you up to arguing and fighting over, over over some dude and, and and that's what it is you really don't want no man why you why some of these women even come coming online even complain about this when they know that's not what they're attracted to you know the, the dude that you could handle Michael B. Jordan and Will Smith because they'd be too lame because no no, you, you you want somebody that you know like the, I mean have a personality like Young Thug and the, the game or something like that. You know like you know tat tatted up tattoos, pants sacking on off your butt. That's a real black man to you. Oh the, oh yeah, let, let's call it what it is. Got five six baby mamas in three three in Atlanta, two in California somewhere. That's the kind of type of women man you won't get with you know you think he's very attractive he must got something going on or something like that you know he's crazy though he got he got a nice ride though got some he got some Tim's on his car he got some gold chains around but that's all right but that's that's what it is and, and it's the same the same situation so listen you good black men don't worry about that don't worry they didn't care they didn't they, you we someone's gonna be lame to them. We gonna look funny, foreign to them. They don't want us until until they've been well into their fifties and sixties. Now all of a sudden they hit, 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 hit him trying to find a good man now. But they was shooting their twenties and their part of the early thirties. Now they get past the thir age of thirty five. Now they want bishop to complain when somebody like you say ran through them four. They got three or four kids. They years ago. Now they, now they see another generation of one of their daughters and their sons carrying out the same curse of their son doing his price doing the same thing. He up there laying up with different girls. He's, he's 20, 20, 21, 25 years old. He doing the same thing. So, and they can't put two and two together because their kids watch this crap. Daughter's doing the same thing. Then she's too hot and sassy in the pants. This is what the Gen Z generation going on. But they learn that from the millennials and Gen X women. They learned some of the they learned that stuff. And that's their some of the, their fault because they would you know they, they want they want that struggle love, man. It's a struggle love. They don't want they don't want that that's that's square. That, oh, you, you you want the guy oh well he looked good but when you mean he, he ain't got no I thought I thought when he did that, I thought he had some swag and some nick nick in him. No, that's just an act. He is a good down home, good church young man. No, they 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 try to they're crazy. And so why some black men travel is because like dang, you mean I can actually be a man and don't have to act, act like act, act like a nigga in, in this country? No, oh, you gotta act like that. What? And so I guess to some black men it's a, it's surprising that they, they treat you like a man. You have to switch your personality. See here in America you gotta act like act, act like like a damn nut just to just to get a good looking woman. In some cases, not with the woman that's, that have been studied how to be a wife. Very. If you find a woman in America that you better keep her. If she know, if you find a black woman or any other woman that know how to be a wife, 
you, 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 you better keep that. I'm serious. I'm serious. If you find a woman that know how to be a woman, don't have to, don't ask, expect you to be this seven, five, six figure man. And she said, no, I'll work with you if you're a landscape man. I'll be with the man because he worked at the warehouse factory. I'll be with the man. Man, man, if he work warehouse and he, and he he works on time, brother, if you find out in America, you're blessed. You are very very blessed to find a woman. She be a rare rare kind. They're out there. It's like trying to find a dollar bill in a wilderness of for a forest. Well, other than that, you got a lot of these titled women, and they have come to the Instagram and Facebook and these other social media trying to cause men and they. They they didn't use their body and they got some attention. Some said, "Oh wow!" Like the, like the, like they like the women that they do up at the strip clubs because you get a bunch of guys seeing a woman can shake her behind and shake her 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 working what she got with her breasts and her butt whatever do certain moves and and she can flat her eyes and rub against you and things like that. And they know this. They know this. And so they let it get to they let it get to their head. But for the men that that. You know, some of us woke up like that. We been there, we seen it, we done it. I'm like, no, that don't flatter me no more. What you funny? So no, I'm not funny. I know that you full of crap. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, before we end this video, till next time, you guys take it easy. And hey, man, you guys be blessed out there. Take care.